if you are a beginner in a field of data analytics and if you wish there was an easier way to analyze and summarize information, look no further. Today with this video, we'll be introducing you guys to the concept of pivot tables, the game changer tool in Excel that will revolutionize the way you carry out fundamental analysis of your data. We'll demystify the world of pivot tables and show you how to harness their power with simple hands-on illustration. With pivot tables, you'll unlock the secrets to transforming raw data into valuable insights in just few clicks. But before we dive into the session, I'd like to request you guys to enable both the subscribe button and bell icon for IntelliPath YouTube channel so that you won't miss out on multitude of updates coming from our team. First of all, let's have a look at the agenda that we have for this particular session. We'll begin this session on a friendly note by understanding what the pivot tables really are. Once done with that, we dive into the hands-on part where we drive our initial analysis by constructing the pivot tables. I hope I have made myself clear with the agenda. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the session. Let us begin with the first topic and understand the notion of pivot tables guys. A pivot table is a powerful feature in Excel that allows you to summarize and analyze large sets of data quickly and easily. It acts as a dynamic tool that recognizes and restructures your data, enabling you to extract valuable insights and patterns. Think of a pivot table as a virtual table that lets you rearrange your data by different categories and perform calculations on those categories. It provides a flexible way to view your data from multiple angles without altering the original data set. With a pivot table, you can effortlessly summarize and aggregate numerical data such as sales figures, expenses or survey responses based on various categories like dates, categories or regions. You can also group and categorize your data dynamically, allowing you to drill down and explore different levels of details. The real beauty of pivot table lies in their ability to generate dynamic reports and visualization with just few clicks. You can easily create charts, graphs and tables that present your data in a clear and understandable manner, making it easier to identify trends, patterns and outliers. Pivot tables are not only useful for data analysis, but also for data cleansing and data transformation tasks. You can merge, split and filter your data effortlessly within the pivot table interface, saving your time and effort. In a nutshell, pivot tables are a game changer for anyone working with large data sets in Excel. They provide a simple and effective way to summarize, analyze and visualize data, empowering you to make informed decisions and uncover valuable insights with ease. Okay, having said that, let me help you visualize how these pivot tables work and how you can drive insights by putting them to use. For that purpose, we'll dive into the hands-on part. So guys, here is the data set that we'll use to create the pivot tables. This data contains the car sales report basically. We have names of car, then manufacturer name, month, color, the mileage that car provides, the cost as well as the selling price. So we have these different features in our data set. Now if you look into this data, you can see that there are not really null records available over here or rather any sort of anomaly. So definitely we could go ahead and generate a pivot table for this particular data set. So it is a must that your data set should not have any empty records or null records for you to be able to create the pivot tables. Now, how to create these pivot tables? Now, what you do is you basically select this data and then you go into the insert tab. You'll see this option of pivot tables over here. But besides that, you'll also see the option of recommended pivot tables. Let's first look into that. So here basically Excel creates a few pivot table on its own to help us make some initial deductions about the data. Here we can see this sum of cost by manufacturer data. I mean here you can see the different manufacturer names available in our data such as Honda, Hyundai, Kia, Toyota as well as the sum of cost. Then we have few more tables over here such as 
some of selling price by manufacturer some of mileage by manufacturer some of selling price some of cost and some of mileage by car name etc inside one pivot table itself and then we have few more pivot tables down the line these tables definitely could help you drive certain insights but for now we want to show you guys how we can create pivot tables from scratch so we won't go into these recommended pivot tables over here so after selecting the data what we'll do is we'll go into this option of pivot tables now once i click on this pivot table button you'll see one pop up appearing on the screen this pop up basically allows me to put the data manually over here but excel does a good job of picking it for us so there is no need to add the range manually also below that we get the option to decide the placeholder for our pivot table do we want it in the same worksheet or do we want to move it to the new tab here we'll move our table to the new worksheet or tab so i'll let it be as it is and click on okay now here we are this is the main pivot table view it looks quite intimidating at the first glance i mean you have a bunch of different controls on the right hand side you have the other thing that says something like build report etc let's walk through how to do it step by step here we have different options such as filters columns rows and values so filters are there if you want to filter your data using the fields that are available over here we also have columns rows and values now again we can use this fields given at the top as rows columns or values etc now instead of talking about using this fields let me show you guys how to use them real quick over here so let's say we want to visualize the number of cars sold by the manufacturer per month now what i'll do is i'll simply drag this manufacturer field over here and with that change towards the left side you'll see the values fields available in our data in rows format because i added this field to the rows section over here now what i'll do is i'll also get the month field into the column section so basically all the months will collapse as a column in our pivot table now if you guys are wondering why i added this month field to the column section then let me tell you that here in this particular table i want to compare the month wise sales for each manufacturer over here so basically i'll take the comparison between rows and columns and plot the data as values over here now what values specifically i want over here see guys here we want to track the number of cars sold month wise so in a basic sense what it means is we need to track the count of car name field across our data so what i'll do is i'll select this car name and i'll put it in the values section and here we have our month wise data now i can further add the field car name to the row section and i'll have information about monthly sales for all the car models in my data furthermore you can contract and expand these features over here so elantra and sonata will go inside hyundai same forte and optima go inside kia camry and corolla will go inside toyota and we'll just have data about manufacturers but if you further want to expand them you can do that by just clicking on this plus button over here and you can contract them by clicking on minus button now from this first pivot table you can say that we have uniform sales for all the manufacturers honda hyundai kia and toyota all have sold 12 cars in a calendar year okay now let's construct one more pivot table here we'll get the information about profit made for each car model that we have in our data set for that purpose first i'll add the car name 
field to the rows section next i'd also like to see how many times each car model occurred in the data set so i'll bring the car name to the value section as well next i'll bring the selling price and cost to the value segment here we get the sum by default for each metric that we add over here but if you want you could change the aggregation strategy just do the right click on the column title and choose the option of summarize values by and out of these particular strategies you can choose anything but for this particular table i want some values so i'll just stick with sum itself now initially i told you guys that I want to observe the profit margin over here but actually we don't have the column related profit margin in our data but we do have the selling price and the build up cost over here so in a basic sense profit is nothing but selling price minus the cost so what I'll do is I'll create a new field that represents the profit margin for that I'll go towards the option of fields, items and sets. I'll click on it and then I'll go into this calculated field option over here. After that, I'll get a new pop-up box on the screen. Now here I have an option to create new fields. I'll enter the field title as profit margin. And we'll also put the formula for profit margin down here. So the formula for profit margin was selling price minus the cost of manufacturing. So I'll add this to our pivot table. And with that change, you can see the sum of profit margin. So for Accord, we had $13,000 of profit. For Camry, we had $18,000 of profit and so on. Here, we could also convert the format of our data to make it more consumable. I mean, here we are talking about money in dollars, right? So I can simply click on this column title over here and change the number format to currency. And doing that will make reading these numbers super easy, right? Besides that, I could also plot graphs to present this data to stakeholders or I could even create dashboards that can make understanding data much easier. The graph that I'm talking about here are called as pivot charts. Simply I could go and click on this option of pivot charts over here and I'll get multitude of plotting options on my screen. Let's say I want to choose this line graph in order to visualize the profit for all the different vehicles available in my data. So what I'll do is I'll select line and I'll click on OK over here. And that will actually get me the plot. But here I'll get the plot for values like count of car name, selling price, cost as well as profit margin because all those values were part of my table. So I'll manually have to remove them from the graph. So I'll do that quickly over here. And after removing the unnecessary fields, I'll get this nice looking and informative graph for profit across the whole year. From this graph, I can make the deduction that Camry and Optima contributed more towards the profit for the whole year. In a nutshell, that is what the pivot table in Excel provides. They aggregate your huge data into consumable statistics and make initial analysis pretty easy. One step forward, they also help you in creating dashboards that could communicate your data to the clients. That is something we could cover in the next sessions down the line. I hope the basic functioning of pivot tables is clear to all of you guys out there. If you have Excel in your system, then go ahead and explore pivot table and charts. Try different combinations of them. That's all I had for you guys in this particular session. I hope that this session was quite informative. 
If you have liked it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down there. Also, enable the subscribe button to IntelliPath YouTube channel to come across multitude of tech videos like this. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers advanced Excel course. Through this course, you will learn Excel workbook, tables, cells, creating dashboard, interactive components, charting, filtering, sorting, pivot table and data processing with real world data sets. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in a successful career transition. You can check out their testimonials on our Achievers channel, whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your careers to new height. Repeat, without a doubt, this course can set your careers to new heights. So visit the course page link given in the repeat. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first steps towards a career growth in the field of Microsoft Excel.